more so, Yeah, it's turning around. I, I bet he's turning around because I think the rest, I think the rest of them are on the way. Hi, it's Zubble1975 and welcome to Elite Dangerous on the Xbox on the Legacy version of the game. And today I've got some fun Pirates v Gankers uh, DMPS versus TOC footage for you. Um, we thought I'd get ahead of the game because we knew TOC were coming here, there was three of them. Um, so we thought we'd 2v1 Ollie for a little bit, uh, Oman UK, and try our best to um, do some damage. Uh, I'm winged up with uh, probably uh, the best PvP I think. Undisputed best PvP in uh, the DMPS these days. Uh, you know, we've had a lot of good PvPers over the years, but uh, Decador is definitely one that we all respect and think is one of the most amazing pilots in the Dark Marauders. Um, him and Ghost Reptilian are like, like a cut above for me. Uh, just, yeah. And uh, so, <laughs> Deck is helping me out, providing much needed fire support. He was trying out the plasma chargers, the um, double engineered plasma chargers for the first time, and uh, he's loving them, they're they're really good. Uh, me, I'm using my ridiculous fixed missile build, I finally unlocked the enzyme missile, which is great fun. It's not very good, but it's really funny. And um, the idea of this build is just to blast them in the face of as many missiles as possible, cause as many warnings as possible. Uh, the enzyme missile doesn't really do anything until it hits hull, but I, there's no point in taking it off the trigger. I'm never going to run out of the short of ammo. I mean, if I get through all these missiles, something bad has happened to me. Uh, but, you know, I'm here as basically moral support and to soak up a bit of damage before I get taken out because I'm in a pure pirate ship. Uh, this is not a PvP P ship by any stretch of the imagination and won't last long against really anyone in a proper PvP ship. It is a fun no-shield pirate build. Um, now I'm going to leave it here for an ad break, but things heat up as we come back after the ad break, so enjoy. So we're going to take a pause and take a quick look at what you guys sponsor. With your guys' views, you help out Big Red Rooster Cockerel Rescue, helping out cocks of all sizes, all shapes, and for the love of the cock, keep watching so we can raise money for this lovely little animal rescue and save birds my, my little co-pilot here. Now, it's always good fun fighting TOC because uh, both groups, both the Dark Marauders and TOC, have a different attitude towards shipbuilding than most groups. We're not really interested in like meta builds or super powerful builds. We choose different builds because we're pirates. They choose different builds because they're gankers. Uh, we sacrifice like armor um, and in a lot of the cases shields for cargo racks, hatchbreaker limpets, collector limpets, manifest scanners. So you know. Our ships are inherently weaker. Their ships actually are inherently less so than uh, normal PvP ships because they're gankers. They have to travel around hunting down people to kill. So they're very usually, well, their ships unusually are lighter than you expect and have hugely high jump ranges. Um, you know, they do tend to be slightly weaker than a pure blood PvP build. Uh, the sort of real super sweat PvP build. Uh, you know, the sort of ship that has absolutely no jump range, no fuel scoop, no, you know, TOC tend to actually have some stuff that helps them out, some stuff that gets them places. Now, as you can see, more TOC have arrived and, you know, <laughs> I'm still firing missiles. Unfortunately, I've got a bit of a problem with, I just corroded myself with the enzyme missile because if I fly into the splash, I get affected by it because I'm shieldless. Bit of a pain and there's a slight problem with the build. I'm working on it, but you know. Uh, this is one of the things is I like to ram people and ramming them just after I've missiled them is mm, awkward but missiling them when they're coming straight at me late as possible is also very good now I'm not looking to hang around against three members of TOC because you know well he'll explain it for me to a New Yorker like you a hero is some type of weird sandwich not some nut who takes on three tigers if it had only said hyenas uh, but yeah, so you know, I'm already slightly damaged. I, I'm going to stick around as long as possible and try and give Deck as much help as possible. But let's face it, you know, as long as I'm drawing fire and putting out some damage, I can stay in here. Um, I just saw some plasma charges whiz past me. Uh, so you know, it's not going to be long for this fight. But I think I put up a decent enough showing considering I'm in a shieldless Cobra Mark IV. Um, you know, it's it's a fun build. It's a silly ship. 
The idea is to have so many warnings go off in a trader's ship that they panic and think it's something bigger. Um, you know, I've stolen from cutters and anacondas in this thing, and uh, yeah, they've you know been worried about all the warnings they get and not realise they're being attacked by something that's tiny and weak, and they could turn around and splatter. But instead, you know, they're just too busy trying to escape and leave me to click collect up the cargo that I've hatch break it out. But at this point, I really do start to get the impression that you know it's um, it's getting about that time to. So I bravely and heroically ditch my wingman and leave him 1v3 against TOC, the pack of hyenas, um, which is probably not the best situation that Dex ever been left in. However, Dex stayed in there for a remarkable amount of time on his own and even managed to get a kill, which I'll bring you at the end of this video. So, you know, all's fair, I managed to um, just about, uh, as you can see, just barely <laughs> get out. But that was enough. I got out, that got a kill. All's good in the DMPS. That's all. Thank you very much for watching. GG to TOC. It was a fun little fight. And um, we had a fun evening's entertainment that night, actually. That's all. Thank you very much for watching.